Bob Moss Nano Tanks. Prizeets. Why my shrimp are eating each over. Welcome back to the channel, Bob Moss Nano Tanks. It's me, your boy, Bob Moss. He is a charmer, I gotta tell you that. It's here with another shrimp top five video i guess it is today's topic is a little bit different a little weird little i don't know it's just something i've had in my mind and i wanted to talk about it with you guys my best friends in the whole world how about that so like subscribe all that stuff today's topic is going to be shrimp cannibalism or why your shrimp might be eating each other easy allow me to demonstrate so let's get into it so number one first reason you might see shrimp eating each other is just a natural death there's a natural death in the tank the shrimp there's a food source they are uh, de detrivores is what it's called detrivores someone uh, fact check me on that one but Nailed because it. there's a natural death there's a de decaying matter in the tank the shrimp will pick at it if you come to your tanks in the morning and you haven't fed them and you notice them swarming something there's probably a dead shrimp in there make sure you get that guy out we've talked about this in the past you don't want to leave dead shrimp rotting in the tanks Bad, bad news bears, bears. that's reason number one good point second throat punch pretty simple stuff there reason <laughs> numero duo this is going to happen if you have like a community tank or different types of shrimp in the tank uh if you have a mono or ghost shrimp in there with caradina or neocaradina the bigger shrimp they require more protein in their diet if you're not supplying that protein in their diet they'll actually hunt down your tiny shrimp and there's video proof of this it's all made up i'll uh, maybe try and source some here and roll it over my face but amano's definitely and then ghost shrimp there is some proof of it they are a more aggressive type of shrimp so if you have amano's in with your cherries the they might just eat the cherries because they want more protein than the, than what the cherries need so that's reason number two it's kind of morbid can you imagine if i was deranged but if you have yeah amanos or ghost shrimp in like a community shrimp tank and they might just hunt down your shrimp. So reason number three, th three, three, kind of plays off something I mentioned in reason number two. See, we build on what we learned before. Your shrimp might just have low protein in their diet. They are detrivores. They're used to having decaying matter, but some of that decaying matter, like leaves, n uh, nettle, a lot of the spirulina, the algae, the biofilm that we provide them, it actually is high in protein. So they, they do need like 30 to 40 percent of their diet to be just raw proteins. OK, I'm going to have to supplement that. Could I have your fax number? So if you're not providing that, they may the, the bigger ones may just eat the smaller ones because they're they're there and just like with the amanos and the ghost shrimp they can get aggressive if they're not getting the diet that they need so something to watch out for make sure your shrimp are getting a good protein quality in their food source this is why you need to have a variety of food you can't just feed them vegetables uh you know you need something like uh mark's shrimp tanks protein mix or what are they the fluval bug bites or whatever the t uh, the bug bites that i have they're high in protein hikari shrimp cuisine hikari crab cuisine they're all good protein sources and then also the algae and the biofilm that they eat naturally uh, is I think it's about 30% protein nice. if I recall correctly so making sure you have good biofilm growth in there will limit the amount your shrimps are aggressive towards each other and will keep their protein content quality high wow yeah so his album look at him he's been starving and going off something i mentioned in point three point four is perhaps there's an overpopulation in your tank and there's just not enough natural biofilm and natural uh, algae and, and food sources for them so they get aggressive that is correct unless there happen to be measles present to solve this one you know you might need to dose more bacter ae to really get the uh, biofilm growth going you may need to use more fertilizers to try and get algae growth uh, maybe higher lighting maybe more supplemental feeding but with an overpopulation the most important thing you could do really is to call the tank a little bit you got to take some of those bigger shrimp out maybe some of the lower grade smaller shrimp and just give the shrimp room they need space you can have pretty high populations if you keep the water changes up like 30% water changes in your neocaridina tank you can definitely have really high populations but if they're not getting it's it's kind of just like in point three if they're not getting the protein and the natural food sources that they require they're going to get aggressive your big ones are going to pick on the little ones and you will see some shrimp cannibalism it's better to be hurt by someone you know accidentally than by a stranger 
on purpose. And the fifth Four and final rounds. point Four is rounds. something that not a lot of people think about, and that's your male to female ratio. I have mentioned this in a couple of videos in the past. I'll maybe try and throw some cards up. I've been having trouble with you cards suck. lately for some reason. YouTube doesn't like me. Anyway, your male to female ratio, it needs to be really at least like at least two to one when you're starting out, preferably when you get a larger population to really keep that aggression down. You want it to be at least three females to one male. And then if you can get it to like six females to one male, that's actually the most ideal male to female ratio because then when the females molt they're not getting harassed by by all the males they will cost you your life now you'll notice when your females molt your male shrimp start to do the zoomies they start to zip around the tank uh you know they're trying to uh spread their seed oh, and when shrimp keepers when us on the internet when we say that the males will harass the females to death they if you've ever witnessed it shrimp reproduction is not the most um peaceful thing it's a it's a little aggressive and i've witnessed it before i had to save a female in one of the tanks and like get her in a net to to save her from all the males swarming her they literally like all try to have um intercourse with her at the same time but not for long and it ends up you know stressing her out there's too much going on it's not a good situation for the female that's why you got to keep that ratio higher and i would use the actual word that i want to but i would get me demonetized whatever so yeah they just um harass the female and do things to her w without her wanting them to and then she dies from the stress and the uh and, and yeah and then they'll they'll eat her <laughs> so those are my five reasons that shrimp may eat each other Bruh. that you may see shrimp cannibalism oh, no. in your shrimp or your community tanks I hope you enjoyed. Nope. Thank you for watching and for making it all the way to the end. You know it really helps out the algorithm. We're helping this channel grow. I have a goal. I don't know if we're gonna get there, but no, you're not. 2K subs by the end of the year. So if you are new here, if you're that the one person, there's one person who watches who's not subscribed. Loser. If it's you, you need to subscribe right now. You need to drop a like on the video. You need to smash the like. You need to uh, when it gets to the end, just hit rewatch, and we'll really boost this video into the algorithm. I think it's I think it's a good one you so patreon suck. shout outs for leather turtle michael redmond and brian dotson Ta -da. youtube channel member shout outs here for neil mitchell jamie anderson tater salad rival robert redmond and poseidon pets oh. i may have to edit someone in there if they i'm yeah we're, we pre-film here on bob moss nanotanks so you can tell how far ahead i've filmed a video by whether i have to edit in grogu here or not Bruh. i like this guy no, not this guy. Today's secret comment will be, oh no, not my shrimp. And then you can join this wonderful list of people. These are my, not my top fans. My top fans give me their money. These are my second top fans, although some of them overlap. Anyway, you can join the club. You can have your name flashed up on the screen here and it's really cool. People enjoy it, I guess. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, duh, 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 hit the links are below, all that stuff. And remember guys, Keep your shrimp hands strong. Till next time. Bye bye now. Sound, 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 sound sync. Uh. Sound sync, sound sync, sound sync. Let's do this in one take. Let's do this in one take. All right. Monkey dokey. So make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. Today's topic is going to be by shrimp cannibalism. Goddamn. So the first thing, or how do I want to? Reason numero deuce. You might have some this would require you to I'm going off the a point that do